Assembly of the garbage collector board. Components required: two small C bar, one medium K, two small L bar, two DC motors, four wheels, and two small shafts. First, we will take a medium K and two small C bar. Attach the medium K with the two small C bar in this way. The first holes of the C bar should be connected to the first hole of the C bar. In this way, and fix it using nut and bolts. Now take two long bolts. Place the bolt on the left side on the fourth hole, and the other one on the next hole. Now put five spacers on each bolt. After putting the spacers on the balls, now take a small L bar and place it in this way. And fix it using what? Now attach two DC motors to both the C bar. We need to attach the motor in this way to the small C bar such that the shaft is on the first hole and the two bolts should be on the second and the third. Similarly connect on the other side. Take two wheels and adjust the two wheels to the shaft of the motor and fix it using accelerator. Now take two wheels and two metal shafts. Insert the metal shaft on the first hole of the C bar on both the sides and fix the other end using XM lock. After connecting the XM lock, now take a pin, attach the wheel to the metal shaft and fix the other side using an XM lock. After connecting the wheels, now take another small end bar. We need to attach the small L bar to this L bar. Connect it in this way. Then from the left hand side, there are three holes. There are four holes, and then on the right hand side there are three holes. And fix it using nut and bolt. The assembly of the garbage collector board is completed. Output of the garbage collector. First of all, open the Junior Bot app. Click on Get Started. Click on JB1 version 2. Select your bot as garbage collector. Then see the connection diagram. The motors are connected to the M1 and M2 port of the controller. Now click on Next. Click on Connect to Bluetooth. Select HC05. It is showing connected. That means our controller is now connected to our phone. With the help of these two buttons, we can move forward and backward. With the help of these two buttons, we can move our bot left and right. So when I press forward, our bot is moving forward. And when I press backward, it moves back. It takes left turn. It takes right turn. Thank you.